Whenever life gets a bit too chaotic in the city, I found my escape route. I call it Wild Baden. Forest bathing. Stepping into the woods is like a calming embrace from nature itself. As I wander, I'm captivated by the tiniest elements around me, each one telling its own little story. And guess what? The stories, they find their way into my photographs, revealing a side of the world that often goes unnoticed. You ever wonder how it feels to see these creatures up close and personal? It's like peering into a world that's been right under our noses, yet remains mostly unseen. What actually led me to macro photography was a tiny jumping spider in my bathroom. Testing my macro lens on that small creature revealed astonishing details, completely captivating me. Suddenly, I'm face to face with these tiny insects and spiders, observing their delicate moves and gaining a newfound respect for their little world. This moment shifted my entire photography style towards this field. Out there in the wild, it's become a bit of a sixth sense for me, you know. I've learned to anticipate the movements of these insects, to immerse myself in the rhythm of the forest. It's a patient waiting game that teaches me to slow down and truly observe. My camera is my doorway to this miniature realm, with OM-1 Mark II's features such as focus bracketing and stacking. My shots take on a whole new dimension, each one revealing a depth that draws you in. And the camera is so lightweight that I can keep up with nature's tempo, capturing fleeting moments before they slip away. For me, macro photography is like discovering a never-ending treasure trove of fascination. It's about finding beauty in the small, about giving these tiny creatures their moment in the spotlight. It's an invitation to pause, to marvel and to find pure joy in taking that closer look.